This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, something different for Doc and I today, I'll explain in a second. Isn't it funny how every bird today is going in the same direction? <laughs> Well, I got a school here. Look at the condos. See them yeah. in the foreground of the condos? Yeah. You see them busting? Going? Yeah, well, I don't know. I guess not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a second school in there, too, actually, behind it. That's good. Keep going? Yeah, no, good, good. All right, after spending almost all of my life uh, real close to Long Island Sound, this is the first time I'm going out targeting Spanish mackerel. And uh, yeah, it's a matter of finding the schools and getting up on them, getting within casting distance, but they are spooky. So uh, here we go. And basically false albacore gear, 20-pound uh, fluoro leader, uh, number one deadly dick, fast retrieve, but not as fast as for albies, uh, running it just under the surface of the water. And about halfway through this video, I'm going to insert some... Uh, what I would call entertainment at, at my expense. There we go! Oh, missed him. Almost had him. Ah, oh, missed them again. Oh, there we go. Got him. And and feel free to grab one of those other rods because you know I got the floral leaders on there and. Nope. <laughs> yes. right. uh, oh no, I'm messing your boat up. Don't you got a hose? Don't worry about it. I got a hose. Don't worry oh, about look it. at all the baity spitting up. And I'm going to keep I'm going to keep Yeah, them. absolutely. Yeah. We'll put them in here. Yeah, and they're spitting a really tiny peanut bunker, like smaller than a dime. Can you reach it from there? Got him. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go behind you so I don't cross you. Just remember, you got it real fast. Keep it up towards the top. What? No hesitation on that. Yeah, got him. Got him. Oh, okay. Now you get the idea, though. Yep. Hey, it starts with getting hit. Oh, figures he got off. Okay, all right. Oh. Yeah, just shut it off and we'll drift. Yeah. Or not, maybe not. Yes, yes. Coming at me. You know, the boat's drifting like right at him. Either that or I fouled my lure. No, no, I got him. But we were still moving really well. Nice one. I saw one break. Uh, yeah, I, I've got some just just to uh, 1030. Easy cast. I just got, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I can reach him, no problem. Yeah. I actually overshot him. I should hook up here. Come on. Right there. Oh, there he is. Just get right through him, right under the surface of the water. There you go, Doc. All right. Tighten your drag if you have to. Cause I didn't check it. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful run. All right. There's maybe some bigger ones in there. You still seeing any? Okay. Oh yeah. It's 20 pound liter, so if you do it, you know. Oh, I could take care of him for you. I, for, I keep forgetting. Oh, so we hooked a few on that school, huh? Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'll take care of him. Here. I'm going to get him this cast. Come on. Come on. Yep. Hey, if you bleed and ice these guys, boy, they are delicious. I had these, uh, took the fillets, brushed them with olive oil, salt, pepper, broiled them. Fantastic. So note we've deployed the trolling motor. These things have been so spooky. You could be a half a mile away, you start your engine, and they stop popping. So we're going to try sneaking up on them with the electric motor. Oh, got him. All right. All right. Trolling motor. Did you see, did you see them uh, jumping? Yeah, a couple. Not, you know, not a lot. Not a lot. If you can't sit that rock on the beach, that would be about the right trajectory there. bigger <laughs> oh, that's beautiful so it you know they they have sharp teeth so they break the, the leader he broke the leader broke and the tin the lure went in the boat and then the fish went off the gunnel into the boat <gasps> would you believe i almost lost the freaking rod from this hatch again <laughs> Oh, that's that will bring them back memories. Oh, I have a prior relationship with that rod holder, and let's uh, let's take a look back uh, three years ago. All right, here we go. Uh, ooh, the rod almost came out of the rod holder, but yeah, I caught it. It's uh, it's all okay. But the day is young, and there's more fish that have to go into the live well. Should I hold it up? Oh. You got it. Yeah, didn't I matter, right? Put the fish down. Oh, I know what it is. When you open the well, it takes the rod out of the rod hole. Oh, right. Wow, that was another close call. But hey, now we've got a great explanation of how it happened. Using three is perfect. I'm using four, but this 
God, I hate that. Oh, <laughs> I've done it three times. I don't care. Oh, shit. What is, is that your rod? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I never saw that rod and reel again. Uh, you know, it makes me wonder when I was a little kid, like how many times did I have to touch the hot stove before I learned, you know, don't do that. Well, all right. Okay. Yeah, they're slashing here, oh, coming yeah. right into them. Come on, get a doctor, get a, get a nice shot in there. Okay. Yeah. Come on, real fast, real fast. There we go. Yeah! Faster. Come on. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Perfect cast. See, it's just a little tiny pod, you know. It's... Nice one, huh? Come over. gonna keep running away from you here and when you get them in I'll, t I'll take them off oh okay that was quick all right so we get this in here oh Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was like the best school. Shit. Still there, still there. Oh, even more than I thought. Oh, it's like the best. There we go. Oh, uh, trolling mode is the answer, you know, because motor around and cover a little ground. Oh, there, we go. there you go. Doubled up. Okay, and then on, on the way back in, we saw some really close to the beach. Yeah? Yeah. See that bird? Yeah. Yeah, right there, where he was. Okay. They're really close here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can probably guess where I went that evening. go. Blind casted. So a little bit of bait spray. In general, did not pay to blind cast. It was almost counterproductive because you really had to get into the schools, into a couple of jumping fish to get hits. And if your line was out when something jumped and you weren't ready to cast, you're better off doing what I'm doing here. I'm waiting to see something, and when I do, I'm going to fire at it.
All right, definitely something different for me. And hey, thank you so much to Doc for getting me out there in the morning. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses, saltstrong.com Skinner.